Hello, hello, I am back and this time I am going to just talk a little bit about my planner stack, the planners that I'm using for this year and kind of just like a little overview of how I'm using them, I guess, in relation to each other. <laughs> so I guess for me, the term planner stack or planner lineup is misleading because I really only use one book for planning um, and everything else is just a notebook or a journal. So the one I use for planning is, of course, my trusty A5 Stalogy, which I have done um, a whole video already on how I have this set up for uh, this first half of 2022. So if you are curious about knowing more about how this is set up and how I'm using it, uh, just go ahead and check out that last video. I will try and link it somewhere if I forget, uh, if I don't forget, but I probably will forget. So um, apologies in advance. But yeah, so I guess my like notebook lineup, notebook stack, shall we call it, um, is as follows. So I guess we'll start, I was going to go like smallest to biggest. Sounds like a plan. Just move these out of the way for now. So the first notebook that is in my lineup is my what I would consider like my kind of journal in the traditional sense so I it is a b6 stalogy I uh spoiler alert every single book that I will show in this video is a, is a stalogy I'm pretty sure and that was a total accident um yeah I, I don't know I mean I like it it's consistent <laughs> but it's kind of funny too so yeah, this is a B6 Stalogy um, and I have on it a white vinyl decal from Create With Mandy. I love this font so much. <laughs> so I knew I wanted um, that on there. I had it on my last journal as well it's from 2021. So I just bought another one <laughs> and basically did the same thing. And I have it in a, this is a clear, like a jelly cover from Cat's Espresso Co. And I actually have another one coming in the mail that's from their minimal line with like the snap closure. And I'm really excited for that because I think it'll look really cute. And I am more of a minimal kind of gal, if you would say, or at least a neutral for the most part. I don't really like color, but I do love this for now and it is good because the Stalogy covers themselves aren't like the most protective as you probably know. So yeah, there's that. Anyways, the journal. I basically, as always kind of with these inner pages or yeah, the inner kind of like flyleaf situation, just use it to like dump stickers and notes and stuff and things that I, <laughs> things that I like. So that is where all that is from. And then inside here is literally just long form journaling that I have done. <laughs> so basically I don't want to show a lot of it because obviously it's like a little bit personal, but I do mostly pull this out because some of my like therapy homework involves, you know, like journaling 30 minutes per day on like such and such a topic or kind of reflecting on X, Y, Z kind of thing. So I tend to keep all of that in here. Um, as opposed to, I have in this stylogy, um, a personal section that I use for therapy and treatment like notes and stuff but that's basically just for like point form session notes that I like scribble down as we kind of like end or talked through things and um, like homework and reminders and things like that but like anything kind of like formal that I do kind of in my own time or that I'm like assigned to do assigned makes it sound like homework and like it kind of is but it's also like not um but yeah I do that all in here my prior journal in 2021 was um a b6 sized loish term so I had about half the pages and I went through them pretty quickly so I did that was one of the reasons why I switched back to the stylogy was to get more pages but also just because um, the paper is like unmatched. I am obsessed with the Stalogy paper. So um, yeah, there's that. So the next one that I'll just briefly mention, because <laughs> as I said, I have done a whole video on it, is my A5 Stalogy, which is my one and only basically 
planner in my lineup. So all planning gets done in here. I'm basically in it daily. I mean, I set up the week on like Sunday, for example, I put down all the days um, and any kind of decoration, but I'm in this daily um, as kind of a to-do list. So yeah, uh, there's that. <laughs> Next in my little stack here is another Stalogy. <laughs> this is an A5 Stalogy as well, but it's the half year. And this is not new either. I've been in it since probably September. Yeah, September of um, 2021 when the school semester started for me because I used this book specifically for uh, the class that I'm a teaching assistant for as part of my um, like doctorate program and like the funding I get. I am a teaching assistant and it is a first year introduction to gender and women's studies uh, class. And they have a lecture that I attend, but then there's also a weekly tutorial that I kind of lead. It's like a discussion group basically, and it's two hours and um, whatnot. I do like to make a lot of notes for myself just in terms of uh, questions to discuss. You know, it is two hours, so it, it feels sometimes like a lot of time to fill and students are not always the most um, willing participants which can be daunting. I mean, I understand very well what that's like, but uh, yeah, basically I keep lecture notes, reading notes, anything related to that class that I TA for. Last year, I was also a TA, but it was for a different class. And I typically don't like, I don't know, last year I didn't invest in really like a nice, nice Stalogy notebook just because I truthfully, didn't really care that much <laughs> but this semester I really like I got the placement that I wanted I got the class that I wanted and I'm also able to kind of like dibs um the same placement for next year so that's going to be really great because all the prep work that I do for class and for tutorials this year I'll be able to use next year as well which is going to save me so much time i'm so looking forward to that so i did want to get like a good notebook that i could really kind of take a lot of notes in and feel kind of like good being in because i want to save all this information for next year when i'm working on classes and powerpoints and stuff like that and i also take a lot of notes for like marking and things like that the comments that i want to leave them um just yeah, basically stuff like that. The other thing that I did was draw in like the semester calendars, which I know a lot of people aren't a fan <laughs> of drawing in calendars, but I really don't mind, especially because I had all these measurements done out already for my Stalogy that I use for my own like personal life. Um, so it really was just a matter of tracing them again. Um, I didn't have to recount anything for instance, and I just like having all of my teaching assistant stuff separate. So like, yeah, their class hours, my office hours, and all of their assignments, like when those are due, just separate because I like to know when things are coming up because students tend to have more questions and I get some more panicked emails, but it doesn't really, it's not something that I have to, you know, hand something in myself. So keep that separate. And I was originally going to use a uh, Hobonichi Day Free for this, but I ended up just going with Astology and drawing in these calendars because um, I do use this notebook basically just on like a semester per semester basis. So I don't need, well, yeah, I don't need the whole kind of like calendar year per se. I just need kind of first semester, second semester kind of thing. So yeah, I am really loving this. These tabs again are from Create with Mandy, only these are white ones as opposed to transparent. And then I just did the same thing with my label maker. I'm doing the year and then obviously I'll, you know, um, this won't, I won't use up all these pages by April when the semester ends. So I'll just continue for like fall of 2022. And um, yeah, uh, so I'm really liking this and I'm also just liking that I now get to have the class that I really kind of wanted and care about and also know more about. So yeah. Lastly is my 
B5 Stylogy. Yeah, B5 Stylogy, which is for my research notes, basically. So if you are new to <laughs> my uh, very sporadic videos here, or just uh, in general, I am a, a second year PhD student. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so basically it involves a lot of reading, a lot of writing, a lot of notes to myself. And that's basically all this is, is like <laughs> research notes, notes on readings, brain dumps that don't really mean anything, <laughs> um, and things like that. So yeah, I mean, I love this notebook. It's really not exciting, I don't think, to anybody besides me, but I just love kind of the size, first of all, this B5 size, although I thought it was monstrous at first, it's really been so great for the purposes that I need it for. Um, as I said, you know, like making just kind of like big brain dumps, not really caring how it looks or whatever. Um, I am absolutely loving it. I don't feel restricted in any way. And I actually just feel very focused and task oriented when I'm, when, when I'm using it. So obviously that is, um, great. And I just decorated it with some s stickers. So this one says team trauma, obviously. And I think it was actually made for people like, uh, who work in like the trauma unit of a hospital. So like team trauma, team peds, like they had all the kind of different like hospital departments, but I got it because I was like, that's so funny because my research like basically is related to trauma. Uh, very directly related to trauma experiences of trauma so I thought that was like really funny um to put that on here and then obviously Spencer just some other ones that I really love and of course a vinyl decal from Create with Mandy that is in the same font as the girl power uh vinyl that I have on my journal and I just love it yeah this will probably last me I mean at least like <laughs> probably another year or so. So um, that'll be good. And then my plan is just if I kind of finish up in this one, just start another one. And then at the end of my degree, hopefully if I make it, I'll have just kind of a bunch of uniform books full of research notes. And I, uh, that, that idea of having that kind of like cohesive archive um, is very appealing to me. So yeah. Oh, I also just use this as I always do in my Stylogies as just kind of a dashboard of notes, things to come back to, st stickers I come across that I like, things like that. And then at the back, um, this is just a, I guess I'll just, so these are just um, outlines of like my own work basically that <laughs> I need to reference sometimes or like projects that I'm working on basically that I wanna make notes of in here, but just like have the, a paper copy to reference back. And I just have that clipped with the Ollie clip, the cloth and paper one. I forget what it was called. I think Affogato was the color. And then this I just uh, made from an actual like cloth and paper divider in the half letter size. Um, but because I don't really use um, disc bound anything right now, and I had a whole set of these dividers just kind of lying around, I trimmed off the disc punches and then just... Um, stuck on a bunch of various sized sticky notes and I just keep that back here um I guess kind of as a pencil board if you turn it on its back it like lies flat but mostly just as a way to easily transport sticky notes you know um with me if I'm doing work like at a coffee shop or at the library or the office at school um which I'm not doing right now because <laughs> of the pandemic but uh, it's still really great to have and just like easy access. So that's been working really well for me too. So there you have it. That is my full lineup. Not the most exciting, not the most extensive by far, not the most exciting lineup that I've seen. Um, very practical and functional uh, for the most part and really just working so well for me. So I honestly don't foresee me kind of going into anything else <laughs> um, or changing this up at all, at least in this first half of the year. 
but yeah, I really like it and it really works for me. So if you'd like to see more about how I'm using these kind of day to day, for sure check out my Instagram, which is linked below. I post quite regularly there, or at least try to. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.